There are a number of breast coils available on the market. We have experience with the MockNet, the in vivo four channels and seven channel coils, as well as the USAI eight channel coil. An integrated coil table system is also available from a company known as Sentinel. When evaluating the coils, obviously cost will be a consideration. Also, be sure to evaluate the homogeneity of signal. What is the signal in the chest wall and the axilla? Protocoling is always a balance between temporal and spatial resolution. As our systems advance, we are able to obtain very high resolution and rapid imaging. You will find that the amount of signal you receive from your coil can become a limiting factor, as with both high resolution and rapid imaging, you lose more in the signal-to-noise battle. Eventually, images degrade to the point that you must limit further improvements in spatial and or temporal resolution. Consider the interventional capabilities of the coil you use. See each of the interventional features in use. Consider the primary purpose of your coil as to whether it is for diagnostic imaging or intervention. Keep this in mind as you evaluate the features of each coil. Don't forget to assure compatibility of your coil with the remaining components of your breast program. Be sure that the number of channels of your coil is compatible with your magnet and that the amount of data produced does not exceed your reconstruction computer capabilities. Additionally, assure compatibility with both your CAD system as well as any possible biopsy equipment you may purchase.